Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida. It is home to one of two Hankster's Hot Rod Collector Car showrooms. Uh, one here in Daytona Beach, Florida and one in Pennsylvania. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website. It's hanksters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. We leave our YouTube videos up at all times between our two stores. However, on our website, if they're funded in full, paid in full, we take them down letting you know they're no longer available. Today's video presentation is going to be a little shorter than most simply because we are doing a brand new or like brand new 2019 Dodge Challenger. Uh, this vehicle was a trade-in that we took, so um, 29,000 is a 2019, 29,000 miles, it's in great shape. This one has a 3.4 liter V, I'm sorry, 3.6 liter V6, um, of course, uh, power steering, power brakes, and air conditioning much different the way that they uh, look under the hood today versus how they looked in possibly, you know, 1970. This one's Hemi Orange with the blacked out hood. So where would this car have any imperfections? It'd probably be down low here on the front grille. Um, the, the lower spoiler's in great shape. Uh, the uh, front lower fascia there, lower grille portion's in good condition. Uh, you got your halo headlights going on up front there. Um, the hood is in outstanding condition. Uh, Michelin radial tires, 18-inch uh, wheels on this car. You'll be able to see in our still photos that um, there's, uh, there's no curb rash I see on this front uh, driver's side tire. Uh, of course, door fitment is absolutely outstanding. It's a 2019. I mean, today we have the precision technology and the... Uh, the engineering to uh, do things much nicer and much more uh, precise than they did back in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. Looking in the interior, you have a cloth interior, uh, black in color. Um, everything in the car, we'll take a closer look at it when we're doing the test drive, but everything in the car is in great shape. Uh, the floor mats, the uh, carpeting, the seats, um, door panels, steering wheel. It's just, it's 2019 with less than 30K on it, so not too much uh, going wrong with the vehicle just yet. Um, I do not see any kind of dings, dents, um, scratches so far um, going around the front of the car and going down the driver's side of the vehicle. Um, we have you know, factory tinted windows, uh, rear defrost, uh, you got your chrome fuel door there, um, retro in style to the uh, old 70s style uh, fuel doors that were on the Chargers and the, the Challengers. Um, you do get two key fobs, of course. You know, this is something we don't have to show you with the, uh, you know, late 60s, early 70s vehicles. Uh, twice for the trunk. Unlock. Uh, of course, you have your uh, trunk. It's nice and clean, nice and pretty. Uh, rear bumper looks good as well. Um, dual, uh, you know, exhaust tips coming out there underneath the uh, rear fascia. Dodge insignia in the center between the uh, taillights. Obviously, shooting down the uh, passenger side, it's going to be the same as the uh, driver's side. Absolutely uh, fantastic. Um, again, you'll see in the still photos, I can't see any curb rash on that uh, passenger side rear tire, rear wheel. I got the key fob in my pocket, so... You know, you walk up to the car and it automatically unlocks the doors when you pull on the handle, so that's a cool feature, um, which we're used to today with the key fobs and the, uh, again, the later technology. Passenger side seat, floor mat, door panel, you know, everything is what you would expect out of a 2019 vehicle. It's all in uh, great shape. No rips, no tears, no um, nothing going on in there that is a cause for concern, so we won't uh, have to show you anything. I have not seen any scratches, chips, nicks, anything so far at all whatsoever. Really nice. There's a little spot there right there in the hood. That's all I've found so far. Okay, so um, right now we'll take it out on the uh, rack, put it in the air, and show you what the undercarriage of a 2019 Dodge Challenger looks like. Um, we own all the vehicles in our inventory. We are not a consignment dealership. 
So when you are inquiring on our website or when you're calling us about a vehicle, uh, you're dealing directly with the seller. Uh, there are no third parties involved. So just wanted to make that clear to everybody because we get asked that a lot. So without further ado, let's uh, drive the car outside around back, put it on the lift and throw it in the air. Underneath our uh, 2019 Dodge Challenger is kind of what you would expect it to look like. Um, front disc brakes. Of course, uh, I mentioned earlier in the showroom, Michelin radial tires, 18s. Um, dual cats, of course. Uh, two oxygen sensors each side. Uh, the frame rails, the floor pans, the tranny pan. You know, it's tranny pan nice and dry. Of course, you can see we certainly hope it wouldn't have a leak after 29,000 miles, but you never know. <clears throat> um, again, the floor pans, excellent. Not even 30,000 miles yet. Not even a, uh, I guess the car's had one birthday. Just kind of panning around the car. There's not really much to say on a brand new vehicle. I mean, the, um, the photos are gonna kind of speak for themselves. And, uh, of course, the video presentation, dual mufflers, the exhaust tips that come out the rear there that we showed you earlier in the showroom, uh, bottom of the trunk pan. Good looking vehicle. We're going to lower it down now and set it on the ground and take it out on a little drive. But before we do that, I want to encourage all of you. Um, we do these video presentations, we take a ton of photos, and we take even more photos for people um, that are interested in our cars and take even more videos and do a lot of emailing, a lot of texting, a lot of talking on the phone. Uh, the reason we do this is because 9 out of every 10 deals we do are sight unseen. So um, we do a very good job of making a lot of people happy um, with their collector car, classic car. Um, we get to meet a lot of unique people from not only all over the uh, country, uh, but all over the world. And um, like I said, when we ship them the cars, uh, we generally do a, a great job. We try to uh, represent our vehicles as honestly and as accurately as we possibly can. Uh, but with that being said, I encourage all buyers, whether you're buying a 2019 Dodge Challenger or whether you're buying a uh, 1969 Dodge Charger, um, to come in person, look at the paint in the sun, uh, look at the interior, drive the car yourself, we'll throw it on the rack for you, you can check out the undercarriage. Um, I've had people here looking two and three and four hours at the same car. You're more than welcome to do that. That way you know exactly what you're buying and you're not just taking my word for it. Um, like I said, with that being said, we do a lot of these video presentations and a lot of photos and we are very successful at doing sight unseen business. So. Let's set this uh, 2019 Dodge Challenger on the ground and take it out on a uh, test drive in the Daytona Beach Sunshine. Okay, we're inside our uh, 2019 Dodge Challenger and I'm not gonna do what I normally do, show you guys everything uh, working, you know, power windows. I'll go over everything, but everything works. Um, you know, power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, um, cruise control, of course, uh, radio controls at, at your fingertips, um, you have your uh, different, of course, settings here on your radio, Bluetooth, um, the engine start stop button, um, of course, all your uh, climate temperature controls, radio control volume. Here down at the, uh, the bottom, um, of course, everything in the dash, nice and uh, modernized, you know, a brand new uh, LED, whatever they call it, you know, Everything lights up real nice. RPMs there. Step on the gas. RPM. 29,161 miles. Of course, that is the actual mileage on this car. Um, clean Carfax. Uh, 69 degrees out uh, in Daytona today. Um, got the AC on. Get us a little air in here. It's uh, warm, beaten down uh, with the sunshine. Hemi Orange 2019 Dodge Challenger. Looks good. You know, what's nice about buying um, newer cars from Hangster's Hot Rods is, uh, not always, but generally they were, they're were owned by older people and or um, they come out of collections where people aren't necessarily driving these cars every day. Uh, and a lot of them come out here of Florida. And if they do come out of the uh, northern climate, you know, they aren't 
the person's daily driver, they're only their second or third or fifth or eighth vehicle. So um, you generally get when you're buying um, some newer vehicles, whether it's a, a trade-in we took or a car that we actually purchased because we came across at the right price point, um, they're really well cared for, really well maintained, and um, you know, real nice interior, real nice paint. Um, always kept up on the service. Uh, just car people. We get these things from car people. I'm not going to say every single time, but a good portion of the time we get them from car people that really take care of uh, their stuff. So we've gotten some really nice Hellcats through here, some really nice Shelby uh, Mustang, uh, GT500s, uh, different uh, high performance Camaros, uh, really a lot of nice vehicles. And this 2019 V6 Dodge Challenger is no exception. Let's take it out on a quick run. Although this Dodge Challenger is a V6 vehicle, um, the V6s that they're building today um, are a lot more powerful than what they were, you know, back in the uh, muscle car era. In the muscle car era, everybody wanted a V8, right? Because those were the powerhouses. Well, of course, the, uh, you know, 396s, 454s, but this thing could probably outperform a, a lot of 350s and a lot of, uh, you know, 318s. 340s of the uh, the classic car or muscle car era. So, but really nice uh, riding vehicle. You can see there's no lights on in the dash. Uh, digital speedometer. So you have your analog to the right, and then you got your digital, of course, in the center. Again, the RPM gauge there to my left. Uh, turn on the turn signal. It's over there in the uh, speedometer portion. car has extremely good pickup for a V6 and um, you know great color really bringing back the muscle car nostalgia with the Hemi orange in this car we'll take a turn here and run it through the gears a little bit and show you what kind of power this uh, V6 Mopar product puts out That was 65 miles per hour like nothing, even though it's a V6 car. We're coming down now. I'm only in a 45 mile per hour zone. I really don't feel like getting a ticket, but um, on our way back to the showroom, we'll run it through the gears one more time, but uh, no problem getting going. This, this car has really uh, got some great pickup. We are located in Daytona Beach, Florida. Our contact phone is 386-944-9219. Today we are going to put up at least 80 photos of this car, if not more, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. And where we're going to put that up is hangsters.com. That is our website. You have a number of different ways to contact us, whether it is through the Make an Offer tab, uh, just a general email inquiry. Um, there is a uh, Text Us tab, uh, of course the phone number that I just mentioned. Uh, you can fill out a credit application on this vehicle or any other vehicle in our showroom that you might be interested in. Um, we do offer financing. Generally, we work with collector car lenders. Um, however, on this car, this would have to go through a late model lender, um, but we still do offer financing. Um, so generally on our cars, um, you know, the classic cars that we sell, uh, it includes shipping and a warranty. Well, of course, this car still got the balance of the factory warranty left, so you do have a warranty with this car. Um, however, we're not going to include shipping on this car on our website, and I'll tell you the reason we're doing that. Um, because when you include shipping and you raise the price of the car to reflect the shipping, um, then when you guys are searching for a late model car like Car Gurus or Auto Trader or uh, Carvana or whoever you're searching um, through, it makes it look like our price is uh, higher than everybody else's because it includes shipping. So we aren't going to include shipping on this one only for that reason. Of course, we can still facilitate shipping for you. That's not a problem. Or, of course, you can fly to Daytona and drive it home. Or if you're in Florida, you can uh, just come visit our showroom and drive it home. Fifty-seven miles per hour, like nothing. I mean, I'm not even mashing the throttle. I'm just giving it a little bit of gas. This is uh, 
another fine example of uh, how Mopar has continued to uh, build quality um, muscle cars and quality automobiles throughout the years. So we are again in Daytona Beach, Florida. We are coming up on springtime and that makes Daytona Beach a great place to visit. So please, um, we would love to earn your business. We have a uh, growing list of customers, not only throughout the United States, uh, but throughout the world. So um, come on down to Daytona Beach if you're above us, up from Daytona Beach if you're below us in Southern Florida. Um, check out our showroom, check out this uh, 2019 Dodge Challenger or any other vehicle in our showroom that you might be interested in. Um, we are a popular tourist destination, great place to visit, 25,000 square foot showroom, um, all the cars inside the building we own and we generally have at least uh, 50 on hand. We try to keep about 65, but fortunately for us, we've been selling them lately faster than we can buy them, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but um, we would love to earn your business. Uh, Hankster's Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida. Eighty-eight miles per hour. We're about to go back in time.